I've heard being a center that it is unusual to be a pulling center. They brought that out in the Redskin game. They brought it out, I think it was on the Cowboy game last night. But you seem to excel at that. Can you give me a couple words about how cool that is to be uh, at? Honestly, it's, it's one of my favorite things to do, one of my favorite, my favorite parts of the offense. Um, you know, when you can pull out the pull as a center, one, a lot, a lot of people just aren't expecting it. Mm -hmm. And two, it's just like um, a lot of what you do as a center is back blocking or just not not really being in space, not being able to really get your momentum like going before you hit someone. It's really nice to get out in space, show your speed a little bit, and then lead, you know, lead block. Season, first loss of the year. Um, how uh, how important is it to uh, face this you know rough path of adversity as a team and get through it as a team to come out you know stronger? Um, as coaches always like to say, it's next man up, and you know all of our thoughts and our prayers go with Kasim. And, and it's hard to see a guy with so much drive and determination and maturing at his rate like go down like that. But it's next man up. Um, scheme doesn't change. Our our attitude towards the game doesn't change. We're most certainly not going to lie down, and you know we just got to face this adversity, get close, get uh, get closer as a team, and uh, just face the rest of the season just the same. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Consulting. Help desk support for your computers and networks. Managed services and 24-hour-a-day help desk are just a few of the affordable benefits. Get help when you need it by Terps that you know. Call us at 301-251-2900 or visit oneviner.com. They were saying pulling two starting quarterbacks in three weeks. There had to be at least a moment or two where you guys, particularly the offense, are like, whoa, like, what is going on? I mean, how much of that was there? I mean, obviously there's there's some element of that, but, but like I said, it's just the next man out the scheme doesn't, our, uh, we know that we have to step up our level of play and, and stuff, um, but we all have faith in Max, and, uh, you know, he's a, he's a great guy, you know, he's, and, I, and I trust him, so... Next, by, next guy up, you just have to, um, uh, the rest of the offense has to, you know, come together. How much of last week's struggle from the ball do you think were a scheme from them versus kind of a morale thing from you guys versus another factor in time? Um, well, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to answer that question. Um, sorry, that's what I feel like that's a question for Coach Bell. Okay. Or, how do you feel like you guys handled adversity once Hill went down last weekend? I'm sorry? How do you feel like you guys handled the adversity for the rest of the game well, once Hill went down? I mean, obviously, when, when that kind of thing happens, it definitely gets you down, especially just because Kasim is such a good guy and a, and a presence in the locker room. Um, but like, like I said, it's, it's just next man up, and, you know, fought the rest of the game and it didn't, didn't come in our favor, but, you know, that's, that's football. Did the center exchange seem any different with 40 back there? No, no, absolutely not. Uh, Max, Max is very, he's, I mean, he knows how to run the offense. There's, there's no really no difference other than um, just really like his, you know, abilities. You know. I don't know if you can answer this in the last. You just talk about what happened on that fourth and one quarterback? Did everybody get off at the same moment? Um, yeah, that's a that's a Coach Bell question. I feel like I want to hand that to him. How much do you think it'll help Max to have all the reps or most of the reps with the ones this week going into the game at Minnesota? Well, absolutely. Just just to be um, to be better prepared to be in that in that kind of role, it's it's good to, to know that you're going to be in that role for the rest of the season. No, he knows now that he's he's the guy, and um, and I mean we've all we've all spoken to him. We've, like, we all have faith in him. He's a he's a good quarterback. And, uh, and now that he has the, the right mindset, I think he'll do well. What are some of the positive things you saw from him last week? Oh!